Hi, Wayne. Thank you so much for coming all the way from Connecticut. It's fabulous. And thanks for coming so uh, late in the piece or quick, <laughs> quickly uh, filling in the spot for Pierre. And um, I'm really interested in your company and your background. Um, you've been involved in space, I hear, too. So uh, very interested. So could you tell me what um, drew you into the, this domain, into the blockchain, and also um, a little bit about your company? Sure. Uh, thanks for having me here tonight. Um, my company is called Tyrion, and Tyrion's a proof engine. So we have search engines that read the internet and organize the information and make it discoverable for us. So if you think about it, there's really no way to prove that something was published to the internet or prove that some piece of information was accurate. And so that's what we've built. We're using the blockchain as a foundational layer to build a proof engine above that. Um, how I got involved in this space, uh, I was involved in Bitcoin pretty early back in 2012. And uh, at the time I was making marketing automation software. And our business model was such that we had partnerships with customers and we were paid on a performance basis. So we were trying to achieve specific goals like an increase in online sales or a certain number of leads per month. And us and our customers always had to share information and try to figure out what was true and accurate and be, so that we could figure out what our compensation was. And so I had this idea that said when we're making version five of our software, that we were going to include this capability to be able to have an independent attestation. The blockchain would, would prove or attest to the timestamp and the veracity of all the information that we were collecting. And then we quickly realized that that was a much bigger idea than just adding a feature to our product. So we took a business that we've been running for almost 20 years and decided to uh, turn it into uh, something very different. Fabulous, and you've got investment as well. Where, where do the investors come from? Yes, we uh, raised a million dollars in May from Blockchain Capital, which is here in the, in the Bay Area, um, a digital currency group uh, back in New York City, Barry Silbert's team, and Fenbushi, which is a team out of uh, China. Fantastic. Good for you. And uh, tell me, uh, um, what do you, what's your vision of, w w because this uh, panel is about cryptocurrencies, what's your vision or your prediction about where cryptocurrencies are going? That's a very, very big question. So when you, no, it's okay. When you look at cryptocurrencies, I see three different things that are sort of lumped in there. Okay. One is something called an app token, where you have a software application and the token, the unit there is consumed to use the network's resources. It could be storage, it could be compute, something like that. Another type of cryptocurrency is things like Zcash, which is more a more anonymous form of Bitcoin. It's a simple way to think about it. And then thirdly, you have things that are like the DAO, where it is uh, people issuing what amounts to unregistered securities. They're trying to put together their pool, their investment dollars to invest them into projects. So there's really three things. I think that app coins, I'm not so sure that the, there's a lot of utility there, um, but I'm open to, to uh, experimentation and we're seeing some of that going on right now. Um, as far as uh, a cryptocurrency being like Bitcoin, but having some different types of features, I think in the long term, Bitcoin will absorb those features. So I consider those projects research and development that will ultimately get folded into Bitcoin. Oh, okay. and, the, and the last part um, where people are trying to pool their money together in order to uh, invest with things like the DAO. Um, so I don't have any announcements, but uh, I've heard from a lot of people uh, with good inside information that the SEC is going to come down very hard on several companies in this space. Number one being a company called Paycoin, which is already under investigation. Um, there's been a lot of scams and a lot of uh, problems with this space. And so things like selling unregistered securities, making promises to customers, um, I think the regulators are starting to catch up with some of the innovation that's gone on, and they're finding out that the innovation is gone in a direction that they do not approve of. So I think you'll see some guidelines around that. So, so ultimately, I think that uh, the, the, um, the jury's still out on app coins. I think that anything that competes with Bitcoin is probably going to get folded in. The feature is going to get added to Bitcoin over time. And then as far as people using crypto tokens as an investment vehicle, I think that uh, we're going to see uh, some prosecutions and we're going to see some regular, regula regulatory clarity on that in the future. Wow, thank you so much for enlightening me. I've just learned a heap in a very short time. Thank you so much, Wayne, and I'm really looking forward to you moderating the panel tonight. Oh, it's a pleasure being here. Thanks for having me.